Good day everyone, welcome to Lubrication Explained. In this video, we're going to talk about the antioxidant behaviour of ZDDPs, or zinc dialkyl dithiophosphates. So if you remember from a previous video that we did um, on oxidation of base oils, the auto-oxidation cycle is basically made up of two halves. So um, the full cycle describes how uh, radicals are converted uh, into more radicals as well as into hydroperoxides which decompose and form even more radicals. So this runaway cycle um, kind of grows exponentially and this is where you get the accelerating oxidation of base oils. Now this uh, auto oxidation cycle has basically two different cycles in one. The first is um, where radicals, which are formed um, either through, you know, the decomposition of alkyl groups because of UV light, heat, physical shearing, um, contact with metals, uh, these then form, you know, other radicals in the presence of oxygen. And there is a whole class of antioxidants, uh, namely the aminic and phenolic antioxidant additives, um, which are called radical scavengers, and they really target these radicals on this right-hand side of the cycle and help break the cycle. ZDDPs actually focus on the other half of the cycle. They're called uh, peroxide decomposers, and they fo focus on this RWOH molecule, and that's really important because uh, when these do decompose, uh, these, of course, react with even more alkyl groups and cause the formation of further uh, alkyl radicals. So let's take a step back here and, and discuss the mechanism. In a previous video that we did on um, the different API base oil groups, uh, we talked about the sulfur content of different base oils. And there are many naturally occurring uh, sulfur-based molecules especially within the group 1 base oils, and these tend to be refined out as we move through group 2 and group 3. Like all crude oils, uh, there is no one singular uh, sulfur-based molecule. It's a family. So you've got thiols and thiophenes, sulfides, disulfides, all of these different uh, components. Now what was found very early on, now we're talking in the 1930s, 1940s, is that some of these sulfur compounds had natural antioxidant properties. And that's why in that video we said that the group 1s have better inherent oxidation stability than group 2s and group 3s do. Um, now, ZDDP as a molecule has, of course, uh, quite a bit of sulfur in it. Um, as it happens, phosphor-based uh, molecules also have some antioxidant properties as well. And so zinc is able to act... Um, like some of these naturally occurring antioxidant molecules. So let's maybe take a look at one of them. Let's take a look at the, just the sulfides and see how it would react um, with a peroxide to decompose it. So this would be a sulfide. It reacts with a peroxide. And you get the following molecules with, a, um, with an alcohol formed. Now, a ZDDP acts in almost an identical way. So when it reacts with the uh, peroxide, it is able to break it down into a couple of zinc-based molecules as well as an alcohol. And so in so doing, it takes that peroxide molecule, the RWOH, um, and then ter turns it into a relatively inert uh, alcohol molecule. And that is the way that it disrupts that left-hand side of the auto-oxidation cycle. All right, I know that's been a very, very quick explanation, but hopefully that explains uh, why ZDDP is such a popular molecule, because it's able to have that dual function. It obviously um, acts as an, a very popular anti-wear additive. It also supplies sulfated ash, but it also has some very powerful properties when it comes to uh, oxidation inhibition. This has been Lubrication Explained. As always, if you've got questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below.